everybody. I'm Carol Wilburn, the cat therapist, here today at the Cat Academy to think like a cat. When people call on me, they want to know what their cat is doing and why, and I have to be able to think like a cat so that I can pass the message on. Yes, my cat wakes up about one and doesn't let me sleep the rest of the night. She wants to be fed every hour from like one o'clock. She's picking up your energy because your energy changes. She's very sensitive to your energy. Your energy changes, you arouse her, and then she arouses you. Boom, 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 boom. What I would do is put her in a small room like the bathroom with all of her comforts, and you say, this is gonna be your playroom. You can do whatever you want. Have fun. cat is so much in tune to your body language and tone of voice. It isn't that he understands what you're saying, but he's picking up the energy. Okay, we're going to try something. Just keep breathing. We are all breathing freely and thinking good things. And he is showing you how to think like a cat. Do you see how you're relaxing and how he is picking that up? A cat is a good barometer of what is good for you, because what's good for you is good for your cat, because energy goes round and round. Yes, I have two cats. The newer one um, is about, about maybe three and a half, four. He bites me all the time. Anytime you go to pet the new cat, just say what you're doing. Is, is it okay now? Um, can, can I stroke you? Are, are you okay with it? And it might even be a good idea to let the new cat come to you. I think she really has some very valuable insights into how cats think. She took me inside the mind of my cat and taught me a little like how to think like my cat and it was really excellent. I really, really enjoyed it. What I would like all of you to do is if everybody could just go home and hug your cat and then you'll really be thinking like a cat.